But tonight's episode, Get Sappy. More on that in a minute. Because we are so What? Spell that for me, will you please? Sword killer, we kill by swords. By death, we will prance across this nation of all poserism. Is that with a hyphen or without a hyphen? No, Get off the tile because you are here. A flame throwing KFAI. Ha ha! Bite it up, chew it off, spit it at your neighbor, and leave it on KFEI, because where else can you get this kind of quality entertainment for so little money? That's right. Uh, uh, would you like to add to that, uh, Miss Tammy Slayer? Well, I was just wondering, I heard that Sword Killer was the new opening act for Slave Raider. Oh! 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 The only show with molars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a chainsaw any night. Oh, boo! <laughs> 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 this is uh, this. I can't even stop laughing. How the, can I get a word in here? Okay, the the craziness is unleashed. We're with me in the studio. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, it's 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 sword killer, man, and it's spelled it? sword killer. <laughs> That's right. Don't forget it. It's going to become a household name pretty soon just from brainwashing, okay? Because it's it's just like, you know, like one of those megawatt stations where they play that same Bruce Springsteen song all the time. And you catch yourself walking down the street singing, Born in the USA! Really bad, just like him, you know? And he wouldn't really make any money if he didn't have a really killer band, but uh, whatever. He copied us. <laughs> hey, hey, this is Jim Slayer. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Back oh, off, guys. <laughs> Back off. No, no, no. I, I just wanted to ask the drummer in Sword Killer if he plays a double bass. Uh, the drummer? Uh, the, the, the drummer, he's, he didn't hear the question. He didn't have the phones on, man. We're, we're, this is this is like real manual oh, yeah, radio. I, I forgot gotta put the, about that. Dude. No, that's okay. No, no, that's quite okay. Ask it again. Hey, do you, do you play double bass? I am the smelliest feet. I am the fastest feet in the world. I will infest Minneapolis with my feet. My feet, my toe jam, will come to your household. Because we are Star Killer! <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just going to turn the board over to these guys, and I'm, I'm just going home. We're not going to let you go home. Because <laughs> we are sword killers. <laughs> One of the nine. Uh, yes, Jeff and Tammy have to admit you've got a live one on your hand, and we bless you all with our blessings, and, and take it from here. Good Nice. <laughs> Thank Very you. Nice. Thank you. I'm going to fade into a tape now, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to try to contain myself, and you try to do the same thing, too. Let's listen to a pleasant song from the Cosmic Thug, shall we? Great guitar sound, and, and I'm biased, and I like the stuff, and, and, and I'll tell you about it later, but just, just, just dig this for a sec, okay? Cleveland. No, <clears throat> it's not Cleveland. It's Minneapolis, St. Paul. And that ends the local set. And I opened up that last set with uh, Neck Brace, another new band uh, uh, out and about. I'm sure you'll be... Shut up. I'm sure you'll be hearing from them pretty soon. It is 3.12 in the morning. And they just got done playing On Your Grave and a tune entitled Young, I guess. Um, after that was uh, <clears throat> the flip side to the um, Blind Approach uh, preview, uh, a mini single EP thing with just one freak. Um, Cosmic Thugs after that with Sir Chisholm, Chasm, Sir Chasm, sure. And I ended it up with a friend of mine, uh, Tommy and the Life. How you doing, Tom? Haven't seen you in a while. <clears throat> cool. <laughs> with a tune called Angel. And I have Sword Killer still in the, in the, in the studio with me. That's right, guys. What it, yeah. What's the name of the band again? We are Killer. We'll never die. <laughs> I myself had forgotten. I don't know about you. Now let's try this one more time before we get to the phone call. Let's see. Now, now, you guys, you, you chewed up my tape, and I'm going to try it one more time. 
See, now it happened again. No, no. <laughs> Why? You guys are just you do. do we do. Do. We are sword killer. These guys are for real, man. These guys are absolutely for real. And and, and what do you think about it? You have a question for the band? Good morning, first air radio. You're on the air. Yes, I have a question for the band. Okay. Why do you kill swords? <laughs> we don't kill swords. We kill by the What's sword. Because we are sword guys. Don't kill people. People kill people. I want you to remember that. You should actually call yourself the guys who kill people with swords. <laughs> no. Well, that would make more sense. You see, sword killer implies that you kill swords rather than kill people with swords or that swords kill you. If you called yourself the guys who kill people with swords, there would be no confusion. And there's too much confusion, way too much confusion. Yeah. You're causing more. Wait a minute. Furthering the confusion. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That is wait a minute. the wimp factor. We don't need that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Responsible. This sounds conspicuously familiar. You wouldn't be Captain Caffeine, though, would you? No, this is Bill. Bill Zebub. Bill Zebub? Slayer of weasels. Eater of radishes. So I am not Captain Caffeine. That's, that's my, this is my secret identity, so don't tell anyone. I can't say that on the air, though, because if they find out, they'll come after my loved ones, and we have to protect our loved ones. Protect our loved ones. From the Canadians. Oh, it's, oh, no, no, we're back to the green fire hiders again. Run for the hills. Oh, I don't know whether to deal with the phone or the dudes on the stack. Oh, God. We want to take another phone call? Here, here. Uh, yeah. uh, who, who's got the, who's got the headphones now? You keep them because you didn't say nothing. Lead guitarist, Satanic Sly. Satanic Sly. Do you do you have a question for him? <laughs> What's this Captain me? Caffeine garbage man? <laughs> no, this this, this sludge raider. Who, who is this again? I keep forgetting, man. You get, you, know, you gotta announce the name of the band here at least once, we right? Sludge killer. I don't know, sludge sludge raider. One of them fucking bands. Oh, yeah. don't oh. be doing that, man. Gosh dang you now. Now you're gonna get me in trouble. You can't be doing that. You're an illite. You should go to bed. You've had too much to drink. Yeah, uh, are you going to be an illite? No, I am Johnny Johnny Wine Cooler, and I am downstairs waiting to get in. Johnny Wine Cooler is Johnny Wine, wine Cooler. Direct <laughs> from my pie pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll send I'll send one of the sword killers. Up. Sword killer. All right, I'll be waiting for him. Uh, yeah, you better be waiting for All him. All right. I hope yeah. to see you soon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Bye bye. Okay, let's try another one. Good morning, uh, Fresh Air Radio. You're on the air. Uh, I'm not going to swear or do anything like that, but that'd be great. If you guys keep saying "sword what killer," yeah, I'm going to turn to Camo J. Oh no! Don't do that. <laughs> why, why would you? Why would you want to turn to? Why would you want to turn to Camo J? Especially at uh, three fifteen in the morning, when you've got the root of all evil on KFAI. This is a one a week ordeal. It, the KMOJ's got a set format, man. You know. Oh, he's off the air. Sword yeah. killer. He certainly is oh, off the air. Die. And and with that, uh, we're not going to take any more phone calls because it's it's three sixteen in the morning, and I have a feeling you guys have been drinking some beer, okay? <laughs> and uh, because of that, I'm going to play the Hate album by Chris Mezzolesta which is another local demo kind of thing that's out on GGE Records out of Kent, Ohio. I, I, I really like this. This guy's pretty weird. I, I played some really good stuff from him, and I'm going to play uh, Fat Girls Who Smoke, so, so I, I, hope you're, I hope you're not one. Any time now.
Okay. Well, you want something big and scary? Okay, <laughs> we'll give you something big and scary, okay? out of the big and scary stuff and I'll tell you exactly what it's all about I had a special request <clears throat> for me to play the little lesson that I prepared for you earlier if you were with me at the beginning because now it's 3.23 in the morning and, and, and uh, I started at 1am I played this and so you're going to have to hear it again <laughs> 
If we disobeyed our parents, we got a spanking. Fear motivation. When it is misused or overused, it can also be the least desirable and least effective. The next time we were tempted to disobey, fear of the impending results motivated us to suppress the temptation and conduct ourselves properly. Fear motivation. Fear motivation. When it is misused or overused, fear motivation. When it is misused or overused and least effective. Of course, it is not always necessarily associated with physical punishment.
Guess what? Guess what? I think they're gone. That's right. I think I finally shook them. <laughs> That's right. Once again, I am alone in the studio. <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, good grief. Sword killer is here. Sword killer. We got a more special guest. Uh, Vince Abyssoruptus has shown up. How's it going? Oh, all right. Made a lot of pizzas tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Made a lot of pizzas. That's not even my job, okay? <laughs> hey, hey, I understand that. Hey. hey. No, you try to figure that one out. <laughs> you probably figure it out. Um, I'm sure Jeff the Philosopher will probably call you know, us up and have it all figured out for us. <laughs> Can you give us a call, Jeff? Any of them my pie folks out there who just happen to tune in, give us a call because we will talk to you. That means Flavio or any of them people. Okay, okay, that's an open request. Now we got F Flavio, is that his name? Right, or any of those my pie people. Okay, any my pie, pie people. My hair tonight. Okay. I want them to call up if if they're out there. If they dare. There. If you're out there. <laughs> you give us a call at step. What's that number again? You oh no no wait a minute now we can't be given the number because we'll never hear from them then. Okay, well, we got to hear from the regulars, and they know the number, or else if I give out the number, you know, it's it's 3.30 in the morning. This is KFEI Community Supported Fresh Air Radio. In other words, you should give out the number as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I think Vincibus is ready to join Sword Killer over here. Oh, <laughs> There's a few of them that don't know the number, though. But we'll just let them look it up. They're not <laughs> Is Jeff the philosopher out there listening? Give us a call. I bet he's out there. How about how about Tammy Slayer? We got a request Tammy, for sorts. So Tammy, Slayer. call us back. Yep, yep. One of the guys in the band is like in, infatuated with your voice. Mm, yes, uh, <laughs> Mr. Jackknife wants to talk to uh, Tammy. Uh, to Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Jackknife, uh, boy. Now there's now. How can you turn down a request told like that? I told that you would like to suck. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sure you'll be hearing from her just a second. Okay. Oh, I'm sure she's gonna love you for that one. Okay. <laughs> Oh, come on. Did you forget the number? It's 721-4936. What? What? There it is. I didn't even get it out. Here it is. Good morning, Fresh Air Radio. You are on the air. I want to know what Mr. Toe Jam wants. <laughs> <laughs> is this Tammy? What? Do you want to suck, my dear? Mm, I want you to suck the toe jam out of my toes and my belly button lint is flying all over the room with your lust. Oh. <laughs> Not in my lowest of nightmares, man, okay? <laughs> I'm not the lost, I am your nightmare. I am the one who infests your dream. Cause he's part of Sword Killer! I wanna, I wanna request. Okay. Sword killer, do you happen to have any of it? I didn't, I didn't bring any down, Tammy. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, my Ross, my Ross. My yeah, too God. much fun These listening to you. They keep shoving themselves down my throat, and I can't even hear them. Hey, you've heard them before. Remember the guys that killed all people? Killed all people! Killed the uh, dessert tail! Okay, remember that one? Bring it. I, I, I didn't bring it. It was in my hands we, this evening. They, they caught me by surprise, because that's just the sword killer way. Yes! You know? Watch out, we might be behind well, you! I'm gonna make Cause some we are prayers. sword yeah. killer! <laughs> Um, well, uh, dear, uh, thank you very much for calling. I'm sorry about the uh, uh, mental anguish and, of course, the uh, mental cruelty, which is also, uh, always a fun category. We'll pray for these boys. Oh, please pray for us. Please <laughs> Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Oh, she's thoroughly disappointed in you, gentlemen. Uh, I don't think they care, though. You know why? No. Because they're <laughs> so good. <laughs> Well, but gentlemen, it's it's 3.33 in the morning, and it's time to get silly. It's time to get crazy. Well, one more phone call before yeah. you go. Okay. Yeah. Just one more. Okay. Good morning. Fresh Air Radio. Uh, you're on the air, and please don't be in a light. Yeah, what kind of acts does Satanic Fly ignite? Just a minute. I will put him on the air. <laughs> okay. Ask the question one more time, dude. What kind of acts does Satanic Fly ignite? I ignite a Charvel. Ooh. A the nice Ignitor. Uh, are you a fellow guitar player yourself? Are no. You, are you not an axe man? I'm not an axe master. You're just an axe admirer. I'm a sword killer admirer. Oh, cool. Well, next week I shall definitely bring down the sword killer uh, uh, tape, and I'm sure I'll be hearing from them on the air. So, mm -hmm. Is that Dave? 
Damn right. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave. Dave. Drink chocolate milk. Yep, Satan does drink chocolate milk, and I'm sure he drinks all kinds of other stuff too. But that's that's the name of their uh, upcoming um, uh, tape. It, it doesn't resemble a record because it's square and it's got little tape inside of it. <laughs> Is that true that Satan just says no? I think he does. Yeah, I think he does, too. But he says yes, too. Oh, oh, sure, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll never die. Uh, I also heard that he's uh, uh, Satan's been doing a lot of partying with a lot of these religious figures and stuff. You know, they've been going off and, and having some R&R. &R. You know, they realize that Sword Killer is going to take over the nation. We will be behind your backyard on your TV set and in your cereal because Satan drinks chocolate milk. Steve, <laughs> uh, th thanks a lot for calling, okay? Sword Killer. I, I thought so. Sword Killer. <laughs> that's, that's a, you just keep listening now, okay? <laughs> um, Guys, uh, it's going to get pretty silly. It's going to get pretty crazy like it hasn't been already. <laughs> but uh, it's time to bid you farewell because I I'm going to wet my pants if I have you in this in this place for one more one, one more minute. So I'm sure you're going to stick around just to watch me do it too, aren't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> of course you do it. <laughs> Why don't we, his why don't we, toe jam will be growing, his belly button lint will be flying around the room. Let's go around one at a time, say, say your farewells, and we'll get on with it, okay? I'm Joe Hellraiser, and I play Bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy, I bid you a farewell. This is uh, Mr. Jackknife. Say goodbye to your toe jam. <laughs> okay. I am the Reverend Jimmy Satan. I sing with my vocals. <laughs> <laughs> Lead guitar, satanic sly. See you later. The Axe Ignitor. I'm Jim Hades, and I still pretty much don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's a vital part of Sword <laughs> And as and as we bid, we and as we and as we bid, as as and as we bid farewell to to the sword killer people, I'm going to be um, uh, blasting you with another uh, local kind of demo thing from where are these people from again? <clears throat> um, San Francisco, California, uh, with a a band uh, entitled Bean Church. Obey. All right. Um, there's a lot of people out there who say, Bean Church, they suck. Okay? So now each one of us is gonna, is gonna respond to that, okay? Yeah, sure, I suck. Suck your asshole. Bean Church sucks, huh? Well, you just think about it. How many people out there do you know that aren't eating Black or white, just standing out there, outside your door, yeah. sitting there, Amen. letting out the methane without any anything to do except, like, bitch about Bean Church. Well, you know, the Bean Church is free. Bean Church is for everyone. That's bean Church, Bean Church, you take a lead-filled pencil and just write your That's name down. Write down, write down MDA. Reference by MDA, uh, and your name is Bugs MDC. Bunny. MDA. Okay, let me put in my two cents. I have played in several bands in this city for longer than half of these punkers have even had legs. And if I'm going to hear any shit from any of these punkers, I'm going to hear they've got a gun up their asshole, and I'm about to pull the trigger because the church will fucking rise above.
We're gonna take our acid and shit! And you can, you can pet your dog or your kid! Bean Church is giving us a little lull here after uh, the old sword killer action going on. But before we go any further with anything, I'm going to have to blast you with this, and I'm, I'm sure you'll understand why. The following program contains realistic language which may offend some listeners. Listeners likely to be offended by graphic language are advised to tune to another station. This must be the end of the world. The following program expresses viewpoints which are not necessarily the views of Fresh Air Incorporated or its board of directors. These viewpoints are solely the responsibility of the persons expressing them. Oh, you caught me by surprise. It was a quick one, wasn't it? It was yeah. very quick. <laughs> and it was very scary. <laughs> and it, was, it was pretty big, too, wasn't it? It was so big that I couldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't as big <clears throat> and or scary as, as some of the other stuff that I just got done playing. And I opened up that set with uh, Chris Mezzolestra. Uh, Fat Girls Who Smoke was the name of that <laughs> off of the... Uh, uh, the Hate Album. The Hate Album, which is actually a tape. <laughs> yeah, well, it's actually a tape. It's it's from GGE Records, though, out of o uh, Kent, Ohio. And he's a strange-looking guy. He's got some strange uh, music. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good, though. I like it. It's like, it's like one of my favorite tapes that has been sent to me in the, in the recent weeks here from all kinds of people all across the place. It's, it's really nice. Um, after that, Laybach. Big and scary stuff for you with How the West Was Won. Oh, boy. After that, Gang Green with uh, Haunted House and We'll Give It To You. Also on the Road Racer uh, record label, I believe. Yep, I was right. <laughs> okay. And we ended it off with another, um, I guess you could call it a demo tape, man, from a band called Bean Church. Bean Church. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, Rise Above and uh, we halfway cut through Idiotically Happy. Well, it's 3.44 in the morning. Uh, you're listening to Fresh Air Radio, of course. KFAI 90.3, and you have your host, 
the root of all evil. And sitting to my left is Vincibus Eruptus. And or this morning, Johnny Wine Cooler. Actually, he's Johnny Wine Cooler. Well, he could be just about anything that he and, wants to be. And I have a complete nip, Mr. Nibs hairdo. <laughs> well, hey, you you do, and, and and you know what? You know what? I'm trying to find where did it, where did it go? There, no, this is oh, there ah, it is. he rung the dinger. <laughs> he rung the dinger. The one ringy dingy, two ringy dingy. Here, why don't we do this? Here, now 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 now, why don't we do this? Th this will be fun. We have a, a late breaking, well, actually very late breaking, because some of this stuff's pretty outdated, but I'm going to read it anyhow. From the KFAI newsroom, I don't know where the news card is, but it, it's, 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 these guys are like doing a really good job, and KFAI news is like coming at you, and they're really pounding hard for the interesting stories that you don't get on Dan Rather. Uh, speaking of that, the scavengers of Manila's largest trash dump are fighting to maintain their livelihood under a plan by Philippine President 